In this Excel file, we have a sheet where we're entering orders, and at the top we're going to fill in the order date, the customer name, and the order number. We'd like that also to print on the footer when we print this sheet, and there's no built-in way to refer to a cell when you're creating a footer, so we'll have to use a bit of programming to do that. The first step is we're going to name these three cells. So even if the worksheet gets moved around a bit or a column or a row is inserted, the code that we're going to add will still know where to find these cells. So this first cell I'm going to select, click up here in the name box and type a one word name for that cell and I'll call it order date. And then to finish the name, press the enter key. And then I'll move down to the next cell and we'll call it cust name and press enter. And finally, in this third cell, we'll call it order num and press enter. So those three cells are named. And now we're going to get the code that we'll use to add the footer. So I've got this code copied into a text file. I'll just select all of that and copy it. Now back in Excel, I'm going to open the Visual Basic Editor and the keyboard shortcut for that is to press the Alt key and press F11 key. And that opens up the Visual Basic Editor. Here you can see all the sheets that are open and here is the workbook where we're putting the footer and if I select that and then go up to the toolbar and click Insert module. New module sheet is added. Mine says option explicit at the top. Yours might not say that. But where the cursor is flashing, I'm going to paste the code that I copied. On the edit menu, click paste, and there's the code that was in that text file. What this code does, we, we set a few variables at the top. So the first one is for a workbook, and we're using whatever this macro is in, is this workbook. Then we have a variable called WS order and that's our worksheet with the name orders and you can see a list of the sheets here and then we have the three pieces of information we're picking up from that order sheet so we have the customer name the order number and the date and we're going to tell Excel where to find those and those are those named ranges we just created and then the code We'll put in a left footer with the customer name, a space, and then our customer name from that cell. Then it puts in a line break, which is character 10. Then puts in the word order and the order number that we had entered. The center footer won't have anything, just two quotes show an empty string. And then the right footer will say date, and then we will format the date that's on the order form as day day MMM and a four digit year. So going back to Excel, I'm going to fill in a date and a customer name and the order number. And to run the macro, I'll go to the ribbon, click the view tab and go to macros. This macro is called set footer. So it's selected and I'll click run and that adds this information to our footer. And to see it, we can go to the preview. Here, if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can see the customer name as Joe, our order number. And over at the right, there's the date in the format that we specified.